Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Lorena, and um, it is nice to um, do another video tonight. Um, this video is going to be about um, a dream revelation that I had <clears throat> on September not, September 11th of this year, 2018. I believe this is a dream revelation that was given to me. And... Um, I want to start with a, a scripture and um, a prayer. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come to you in this prayer, Father, so that I may be able to tell this a dream revelation that you have given me. Uh, Father God, please um, give me wisdom and knowledge to be able to um, tell this dream so that many can understand in your most high precious name. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Okay, brothers and sisters in Christ, I am going to um, tell this dream revelation that I had on September 11th of 2018 of this year. And this dream, I had it in the morning, about 4 o'clock in the morning, and I had waken up at 5 o'clock in the morning. So, um... First, I'm going to read the scripture from the Bible, the King James Bible, and it in Acts, um, Acts chapter two, verse um, seventeen. It says, "And it shall come to pass in the last days," saith the Lord, saith God, "I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy." And your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Verse 18 says, And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, I had a dream, and I fully believe that this dream was a revelation that was given to me on September 11th. Of 2018 and I wrote it down as soon as I woke up okay and um, um, I wrote dear Jesus thank you for giving me Holy Spirit of understanding according to exactly how I felt and saw in my dream in your precious and holy name amen when I woke up <clears throat> from my dream my heart was raised Okay, so this is the last part um, that I wrote after I woke up from the dreams, but I'll read this after, okay? Um, so basically, um, I wrote this to Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for being with me in this dream revelation. Okay, so um, I am truly blessed and honored to serve for you Jesus Christ and for my God Jehovah my father in heaven may his name be honored and worshiped for eternity as I woke up about 5 a.m. this morning my heart was beating so fast because I could feel the intensity in my dream of the bad feeling about what I could see two thick lines of people these people were standing and waiting on their way to to hell okay so in my dream i did see two thick lines of people standing there waiting on their way to hell okay and when i'm talking about lines of people i'm talking about hundreds of people and they did not know they were standing there on their way to hell but to me it felt very clearly in the dream that i knew because of the holy spirit of jesus the holy spirit of god um felt to me inside the dream that these people were standing there waiting on their way to hell okay and i can see hundreds okay and possibly by the thousands um as i approached these people i could see one man of what he appeared like somebody who i thought i knew or looked like somebody I knew and as I got closer a closer look at this man well sure enough I recognized him this is a man um, that I know and um, 
he is a friend of mine. I already spoke with him about this dream. I already told him about this dream. And um, I even told him about God. You know, I, I told him that if he ever felt that, you know, that was it. And he didn't want to, you know, deal with the chaos in life and um, situations, you know, that are very, you know, like that if it were to be like a very... Um, you know, his life was like to be a problem to um, come to God, you know, and get closer to God. So he knows about this dream. I already spoke with him about this dream. And um, I continued writing uh, on my notepad because I wrote all the details. I could see uh, his back. And when I turned over to his front side, I saw he was my friend of whom his name I cannot say, but I already spoke to um to him of this dream because if I don't I could be held accountable for his salvation this man is my friend and in my dream I saw him standing in line on his way to hell I saw him but he could not see me so in other words the Spirit of God um, brought me close to these people you know and he brought this feeling um, this is was a very scary, horrific feeling because I knew that they were standing there waiting and uh, heading towards hell. Um, I, I know he didn't know he was on his way to hell, but I certainly knew. I quickly became concerned and began to look at the other line. I wanted to see if there was other people that I might have known. So I looked closer and closer and I saw another friend. He was standing there in the line on his way to hell. He did not know he was standing there waiting to go to hell, but I did because it clearly felt to me that th where they were headed. I was becoming worried in my dream and soon after I, s I was driving. Okay, so there was two lines full of people, like very thick lines. They were like crowded lines. And they, um, when I saw my friend at the first line, I became worried and concerned because I wanted to see if there's any other people on the other line that I might have recognized or known. You know, I, I wanted to see if there was like friends or family or somebody that was very extremely close to me. So I began looking closer and closer. And as I got closer to the other line, I saw my friend there standing in line. And um, I already spoke to him about this dream. Um, and I did tell him, you know, to come to God. And, um, you know, because he can find salvation through Jesus Christ. Uh, for um, so that he cannot go you know if if this is going to happen in real life so that he won't go you know to hell because hell does exist just like there's a heaven there's a hell so um, and then um, I kept writing and uh, um, and I wrote and soon after I was driving and I could see young people about eight or ten people driving um, Sport muscle cars, you know, like Camaros, Mustangs, and they were breaking traffic laws. I yelled for them to stop, and they became mad and attacked me and stoned me with rocks. I had managed to escape because one of them recognized me and began to protect me. I did not know this uh, other uh, man that was trying to protect me, but he did recognize me in the dream, and he was protecting me. So then I saw some business companies who were subjected to do bad things, evil things to innocent families, and many families had no choice but to work for these company, these businesses to survive um, uh, because they, these families had to survive fin financially. So in the dream, it appeared as these companies were doing bad things to these families. The Lord Jesus Christ did not show me what kind of things, but um, they were doing bad things to certain families. And um, soon after, it looked like these companies were going to hell for committing these bad things upon many families. Uh, and when I'm talking about families, I'm talking about moms, dads, 
uncles, grandpas, cousins, kids, okay? So um, these families were, were target of bad acts. I saw these companies buried as if they were buried in a cemetery. I saw one company buried with a white cross of Jesus Christ. So when I saw these companies buried um, underground, they were buried like if they were buried in a cemetery, but with no crosses. I was only able to see one company with, with the white cross of Jesus Christ. Okay, so um, these companies, um, I could see about maybe 50, 60 companies, hundreds of companies. And that's the way it felt in the, in the dream. And, um, dear, you know, dear Jesus Christ, you know, I just want to pray right now because I don't know if this is happening right now or it's going to happen, happen anytime soon. But, um, for the families, I suggest, you know, to seek God and, um, find salvation through God so that you can have the gift of the Holy Spirit of God so that God can protect you, okay? Um, it is written in the Bible that those who are saved shall be, you know, those who are saved through Jesus Christ's salvation shall be saved, um, through the Holy Spirit of God. So please seek salvation. Also for the companies, they still have salvation, you know, um, in real life, they still have a good shot of getting salvation through Jesus Christ. Um, when I woke up from my dream, my heart was racing so fast that my uh, I thought it was about to pop out of my chest. Dear, dear God in heaven, in your divine and holy heaven of goodness and righteousness, please protect us all in Jesus Christ's name. So... Um, Brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, this revelation dream, it appears to me like we're at stake um, to some trouble, you know. So, um, my concern right now, and I'm worried about the hundreds of hundreds of people that were standing in those two lines on their way to hell these people did not know that they were standing there on their way to hell i knew because the spirit of the lord jesus christ gave me the feeling that these people were on their way i could see at the end of the line uh at the beginning of the end of the line it was getting darker and darker and darker. So that's how I knew that they were headed. And the, and it felt also that they were headed over there, you know, down there to hell. So um, for the young people that were driving the cars, they seemed confused. And they seemed like, you know, they were just like breaking laws, you know. And so um, I really want to pray for um, the young people also. Please pray for young people. Young people need to seek salvation through Jesus Christ because there's a lot of, um, this is my cat. <laughs> there's a lot of young people who are really truly lost and they, they're not saved. So, you know, brothers and sisters, please pray um, for the families and our companies so, you know, that if um, they have people working for them, hopefully, you know, these people um, are good people. And hopefully this dream, you know, God can protect our companies and our families. Um, so I do want to, um, you know, give you this dream revelation. It felt very real, you know, and when I woke up from the dream, I can feel the intensity of like the realm of goodness and badness fighting against each other while I was having this dream. Like I could really feel the presence of the angels of God, you know, protecting me so that my dream could be completed. Um, honest to goodness, when I woke up, uh, I couldn't take, my heart couldn't take the intensity anymore. And I feel that if I would have continued to dream, this dream revelation that I could have been going further down, deeper down into the dream, but um, my heart couldn't take it anymore. So I stopped dreaming about five o'clock in the morning. And when I woke up, I really felt like 
um, goodness and badness was surrounded, you know, I was surrounded and that God was protecting me um, when I was having this dream. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, I urge you to seek your salvation through Jesus Christ. Jesus loves you. God loves you. And I hope to see you guys very soon. God bless. Bye-bye.